Welcome to our channel Bitron Health and Technology. In this video we will learn about Brain Computer Interfaces. Brain Computer Interface is a system which allow us to control any device using only our mind. Let's understand this through an example. If you want to switch on the lamp, your brain will simply coordinate your hand and you will switch it on. But, if a person is unable to do the same function physically, what's the solution? The solution to this problem is brain-computer interfaces. Brain-computer interface bypass that middle step of coordinating and using your muscles to execute the desired action, instead using a computer to identify the intended action and then controlling the device directly. Brain-computer interfaces BCIs, have strong potential to enhance the life of the of patients with neurodegenerative disorders, improving the brain function of Alzheimer, Parkinson, and addicted patients, early diagnosis of epilepsy, and enabling communication and mobility in paralyzed people. Brain-computer interfaces can be non-invasive or invasive. In non-invasive BCIs, activity of neurons produce enough electrical activity to be detected outside of the head. This electrical activity can be measured by placing special sensors called electrodes onto the head. A large number of electrodes are placed on a headset to record the electrical activity coming from different regions of the brain. This method of measuring the brain's electrical activity externally is called EEG. But the invasive BCIs involve surgically implanting sensors directly onto the surface of the brain. These systems also measure the electrical activity of neurons, but because the electrical activity doesn't have to travel through bone, skin, and hair to get to the sensor, the recorded activity is much stronger. Invasive BCIs provide stronger signals and are more accurate than those that record signals from outside of the scalp. Does this mean that a brain-computer interface can read our thoughts? The answer is no. A BCI cannot read thoughts even with implantable, invasive BCI systems. This technology is still very far from being able to read anyone's thoughts. Instead, what BCIs look for are patterns that occur in brain activity in response to certain external events or that are generated during certain cognitive processes. But with the advancement of technology, this might be possible in near future. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and keep watching for more such videos.